Hello. In this video, we're going to see how we can monitor the CPU usage on a Linux server. So in case the CPU usage is going uh, up, it is going above a threshold, an email to be sent to our uh, inbox address. So we know that and have some details for troubleshooting in case we need them. So uh, we may want to do this, especially in some DPS hosting provider like has no additional option to to be sure that uh, your server doesn't have a lot of loot or in case something happens there to be notified and collect some details and this is it's happening uh, to be able to send the email you will need to have SMTP really configured on your DPS server or to have an email server configured on, on that uh, server will We'll have this, this script. I've left a link into the description with some uh, videos that can help you with all of these things. Also, with a review to, to Hasner. So, to do this, we are gonna use Bash to create a, a script, and this will be the actual script that we are gonna gonna have. In here, you have the usage that you can configure. It will be 80 by 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 default in in the script, and uh, in here you put your email address and what this script will do it will just uh, check and see if the spirit is above 80 threshold and in case it is it will send an email with the recipe usage on 20 processes that consume the cpu top 10 processes that is consuming the cpu with ps this time which this time was done with top also memory snapshot that to uh, will help you see what processes are utilizing the memory on your server to do this we're gonna use psmem as it has the most details and in case nothing happens you will have this detail that will be that 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 will be prompted so uh, we'll configure this in chrome tab so it runs from five to five minutes and send us the, the email address you get something Points. So the first thing that we need to do is install this PSMAP tool that will help us see more good what memory it utilizes on, on the server. So let's go. This will gonna uh, fetch the the Python script for this and put it in the local bin. I have one Ubuntu already configured in here, and this is the uh, processes. Let's me and do this so first let's fetch the script okay then we'll make the script executable and then we're gonna see if this it's working okay so this is working if we would have had issues we shouldn't we should have created the symbolic link to the python tree because this is using the default python to uh, to display the memory results so next we're gonna go and do the steps to put this in the ground tab and have it running to from five to five minutes so first we're gonna create a, a Directory in here in all of it is scripts. If you alert, it will be caught. Let's go and do that. Let's see if first I have the directory. Okay, we don't have it. We'll make the directory. And then we are gonna do this and copy the script from above and in here what we'll do we're going, to, we're going to change the email address so it will uh, send us the email to the correct address then we put here an email address in this okay I'll use this email address and I will just uh, save this. Okay, next thing we we'll need to make this thing executable.
Okay. Thanks, Senator Bernardo. We are just gonna run this and see if it's working. So right now the threshold is under the limit of video and it will not send an email, but we're gonna change the threshold just to see the email address. And we'll put in here for an instance like uh, I have put one. So if the threshold will be up above one, it will send an email. Let's test this. Right now we don't have any output, which it means the email should uh, should be sent with the details that are on the on the server. So let's wait for a little bit for the email to be received. Okay, the email has been received. You see here, like attention view, how they load its height on cloud. This is the server name, and in here you will have the top twenty processes with top and the the usage and the things things like that. And see what exactly is consuming the, the, the CPU. Here is the PS commands for the CPU. And in here you have the memory utilization in case you need also to, to check that. And uh, yeah, that, that will be the email. And uh, the script, it's, it's working right now. Let me modify back the threshold. Okay, so next thing that we need to do is to activate this thing and run from the Chrome tab. To do that, let's go in here and let's activate it. We hit Chrome tab minus E and add this in there and explain what this is doing in a second. And we go at the end, we're adding a new light and we put in here the details. So what this thing will do, it will run from five to five minutes. It will run the scripts uh, that we've created and it will create a lock under the, the OPT script CPU check cron.lock. So uh, we have a report with, with the run when nothing is happening, just to have a a more detailed statistic so let's activate this and this thing right now it's it's active and the, it will run from five to five minutes and when uh, the cpu usage will be above the threshold the very percent it will send an email to us to notify us so in this way you are activating an alert for your cpu usage i hope this video Help you monitor better your VPS provider. Thanks for watching.